Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now we're in North Carolina. We're in Fayetteville. And we're going to be going on a driving tour through an area that was said to be uh, pretty rough. So we're going to take a look and see what it looks like. We're headed to Murchison Road and Preston Ave. We haven't been having any luck trying to find worst areas around here. It's been difficult, at least, you know, since we're not locals, using the World Wide Web, using the internet as our guide hasn't been too successful. Um, but we're gonna go see what this area looks like. And then if this doesn't work out too well, we'll just circle around within the neighborhood. After this tour, when this tour is complete, we're probably gonna take a stop through Lumberton, North Carolina, which on another list comes up as the worst town or city to live in in North Carolina based on crime, unemployment. It was said to have something like a 99% unemployment rate. So we're going to check out Lumberton after this. But yeah, let's see how this goes. We're about less than a minute away from our destination of Murchison Road and Preston. This is actually Preston. Wow, I turned very last minute because I didn't realize this was Preston. We got West Cuts Barbershop on my left hand side. We got some homes on my right hand side. We got some more homes on my left hand side. Beware of dog, private property, no trespassing. I see some, some trash and debris on the lawns. We're traveling 11 miles an hour. I see a little bit of wood out here. Maybe they were doing some cleaning, some window frames and whatnot. Private property, private property. We got police right up in front of us. I don't know if that means anything. We just passed a basketball court. We got an abandoned house on my right. We got a bunch of trash on my right hand side. But it looks like that trash comes from, from the abandoned property. There's a gentleman on my left that was laid out. And we got these police officers right here. They're having a discussion. really see anyone out. It's 86 degrees outside. I see the trash bins out. I'm assuming they're the trash bins. The blue bins for us in Philly are recycling bins. Over here, it looks like they're probably trash bins. And the trash can say property of Fayetteville, which means the city probably gives them to the people who Live in the area. This is a residential zone and it looks like a dead end. We got some mattresses on my right. So we're gonna have to make a U-turn and come back around and we'll end up passing those police once again. They got green patches around their house, which even for being one of the toughest areas, quote unquote, they got green patches. It's not a concrete jungle. So Preston Ave has a dead end. All right, we got those police still stationed in the middle of the street. vehicles coming towards us I have to wait until those vehicles pass so I can pass that lane this truck on my left hand side is traveling mighty slow get this Honda Accord here that's what the police look like here in North Carolina this gentleman on my right is really laid out I don't know if he's drunk or what but he's next to his vehicle and he's just laid on the dirt. You don't want to be drunk next to your vehicle with the door wide open next to police. He could be tired probably, you know? You, know, you never know. 
Freedom Temple of Deliverance on my left hand side. We got some bicycles on my right hand side. And that barbershop on my right. They have a little cookout. They have a little cookout. They're cooking some food. All right, I'm gonna make a right hand turn on uh, Murchison Road, 2800 block of Murchison Road. Yeah, we didn't really find uh, bad neighborhoods. We found like bad intersections or like intersections where people said, don't visit this intersection or make sure not to visit this intersection past nighttime or don't visit this street. But it didn't seem like anything worth checking out. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. And we're gonna make a right on Pelt Drive. We have Aunt McLam's Auto Salvage, two blocks on the left. Oh, Auto Salvage. Wow. All right. We just approached Providence Street. The 2700 block of Providence Street. Wow, I see a junkyard on my left hand side. Pelt Drive in Providence. I'm so tempted to jump out and see if they got any vehicles that I can utilize. Like a 1987 Monte Carlo. We got Harvey Drive on my right hand side. That's a block that I should probably go through. Let me make this exaggerated U turn, guys. There's the 2700 block of Harvey Drive. We got a scooter on my left, some bikes, some trash on my right. We got a mattress on my right, some more trash. It looks like trailers. Some of them look like trailers, not all of them. A lot of bicycles, bottles laying around, cars on the lawns. This is another no outlet. Wow, this house on my left hand side has several cars and they're trailer homes. So we're gonna make this U-turn. Private property on my right. Wow, they got an old school CRX right there on my right hand side. Wow, the 1987, 86, 85 CRX, the boxy CRX. That's interesting. Uh, we had a car, some people on my left hand side it was outside looking <laughs> it's like a trailer probably wondering what we was up to because when you're in little uh dead ends like this you pretty much know who comes in and who comes out and you could sense a foreign vehicle we got salem Min missionary baptist church on my right new salem missionary baptist church division center properties Reverend Eddie Lee Hightower. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. I I just wanted to wait for these people on my left. They ended up turning into this no outlet. Yeah, there's a junkyard right there, guys. I see a lot of cars with potential. A lot of cars with potential. I'm wondering. We got a church on my right hand side. Junkyards for me is like a playground. Seriously, it's like a playground. The thing is, I didn't really bring any good tools to actually pull parts. And if it's a you pull it, unless they pull it for for you, but it looked like both of the gates was closed though, right? Um, a Eagle Rehabilitation, Woodlands Nursing Rehabilitation Program. We can't go right, that was a private community. And it looks like we are coming to another, is this a dead end? Yeah, it looks like it. Let me see. Seriously? The map still shows street to continue driving forward. But that doesn't look very uh, 
wise to drive forward through, right? The map shows Pell Drive continues. It probably continued in the past and they let it get overgrown, but we're not gonna go through it right now because there's wood and everything on the ground.